How does China consistently raise skyscrapers at an astonishing speed, transforming entire city skylines almost overnight? What's the secret behind their rapid urban growth? Tucked away in their advanced construction toolkit is a colossal machine that redefines the building process, a behemoth known as the Baonat. Global Context and China's Urbanization Global Perspective Skyscrapers have become more than just tall buildings. They're now seen as a mark of a country's progress and power. These towering giants are a clear statement that a city is modern, wealthy, and prepared for whatever comes next. Around the world, countries compete to build the tallest and most impressive skyscrapers, but China has truly taken this race to a new level. Over the past few decades, the country has transformed its cities, erecting massive structures at a pace that leaves other nations far behind. A few key factors drive China's rapid urbanization. First, the population shift from rural areas to cities has been huge. Millions of people have moved to cities like Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Beijing, creating a demand for more housing, office space, and infrastructure. As land is limited, building upward has become the best option to fit more people into these urban areas. Second, China's economic growth has pushed the need for business districts, financial hubs, and residential towers to accommodate its expanding middle class. In Shanghai alone, there are over 150 skyscrapers that rise above 200 meters, making it one of the world's most vertical cities. Shenzhen has seen a similar boom, quickly becoming home to some of the tallest buildings on Earth. The urban landscape is changing fast, and with it, the way people live and work. With China constantly looking to improve efficiency and reduce construction time, it's no wonder they've developed machines like the Baonat to speed things up even more. And as we'll see, this machine isn't just speeding up the process, it's completely changing the way skyscrapers are built. China's Urban Expansion China's cities are growing at a breakneck pace. In just a few years, places like Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Beijing have added more skyscrapers than many countries will build in decades. For instance, Shanghai has seen hundreds of new high-rise buildings, while Shenzhen has transformed from a small fishing village into a bustling metropolis with a skyline that seems to reach for the clouds. Beijing's skyline is also expanding rapidly, reflecting China's booming economy and population growth. The need for these skyscrapers is driven by several factors. China's urban population is growing quickly as more people move to cities for better jobs and living conditions. This rapid urbanization is pushing cities to build higher to make room for everyone. Additionally, the economic boom means there's a strong demand for office spaces, apartments, and mixed-use buildings. With more people needing homes and businesses needing offices, building upwards is the fastest way to keep up with the ever-increasing demand. Comparison with other nations While many countries around the world are building impressive skyscrapers, China's pace is unmatched. Let's put it into perspective. The United States, for instance, has long been a leader in skyscraper construction, with iconic buildings like the Empire State Building and One World Trade Center. But even in the United States, it can take anywhere from three to six years to complete a skyscraper, with delays caused by everything from regulations to labor shortages. In contrast, China completed all of the skyscrapers in a fraction of that time. Countries like the United Arab Emirates have also made headlines with architectural wonders, like the Burj Khalifa currently the tallest building in the world. However, even that record-breaking tower took five years to build, which, in comparison to China's speed, seems like a lifetime. The United Arab Emirates is known for its luxurious cutting-edge skyscrapers, but when it comes to speed, China is in a league of its own. So, why is China so much faster? It's not just about ambition or money. It's also about the technology and processes they've developed to streamline construction. The Bonat machine is a perfect example of how China has innovated in ways other countries haven't. While the United States and other nations rely on traditional methods involving cranes and scaffolding, China has adopted machines that can construct entire floors in just days, drastically cutting down on time and labor. This advantage gives China the ability to outpace other nations not only in the number of skyscrapers, but also in how quickly they rise. Machine Overview the Baonat machine is not your average construction tool. It's a massive piece of equipment that stands over 40 meters tall and weighs a whopping 2,000 tons. This machine was designed to do one thing really well, build skyscrapers faster than anyone thought possible. Unlike traditional cranes or scaffolding setups, the Bonat has a unique approach to construction. 
It works by adding one floor after another, and it can complete an entire floor in just four days. This machine has transformed the way China builds its urban centers, especially in busy cities like Shenzhen and Shanghai. The Baonat's most impressive feature is its ability to climb up the building as it goes. Once it finishes a floor, it doesn't need to be disassembled and moved to another part of the structure. Instead, it simply moves itself up to the next level, saving time and reducing the need for extra equipment. This process not only speeds up construction, but also lowers costs by reducing the number of workers needed on site. China's need for rapid urbanization meant they had to find a faster, more efficient way to build. The Bonot machine, with its streamlined approach, has been the answer to meeting this ever-growing demand for high-rise buildings in record time. Development and Engineering Background The Bonot machine wasn't built overnight. It took years of careful planning, trial and error, and some very clever engineering to make it the construction powerhouse it is today. The machine was developed by a team of engineers from the Institute of Engineering Technology in China, a seasoned engineer who had spent years working on innovative construction techniques. With his expertise and vision, the Bonot machine came to life after three years of dedicated development. One of the biggest challenges in creating the Bonot was figuring out how to make it climb up a building without losing stability or risking safety. The team had to develop a unique mechanism that would allow the machine to move upward while keeping everything balanced. After a lot of testing, they finally cracked the code and created the climbing system that now makes the Bonot so effective. Throughout the process, the engineers encountered other hurdles too. They had to ensure that the machine could operate in extreme weather conditions, remain stable at dizzying heights, and maintain precise control over each step of the building process. After all the hard work, the team secured eight patents for the technology they developed, and they published five academic papers detailing how they pulled it off. The Baonot is now recognized as one of the most advanced machines in the world of construction, and its story of creation is just as fascinating as the buildings it helps raise. Innovations and Patents The development of the Bonot machine didn't just happen overnight. It's the result of years of careful planning, testing, and several breakthroughs that pushed the boundaries of construction technology. What makes it so impressive isn't just its size or speed, but the unique innovations built into every part of it. For starters, Bonot's design team secured eight patents during its creation. These patents cover various elements of the machine, including its advanced climbing mechanism and precise automation systems. The climbing feature is particularly clever. It allows the Bauknot to gradually lift itself as it constructs each floor, doing away with the need for external scaffolding. Imagine how much time and labor that cuts out of the process. In addition to its structural features, the Bonot has also set new standards for automation in construction. The machine's precision controls minimize human error, making the building process smoother and safer. It's so finely tuned that it can even handle minor adjustments without needing much human input. There's something impressive about a machine that does most of the heavy lifting while still ensuring the work is accurate down to the millimeter. On top of that, the development team didn't just keep their work under wraps. They published five academic papers detailing the technology and processes behind the Bonot. These papers not only contribute to the construction industry, but also offer insights that could influence future projects globally. So, with all these patents and innovations, it's clear that the Bonot isn't just another machine, it's a new way of thinking about construction. Structural Design and Functionality At its core, this machine is built to solve the biggest challenges in skyscraper construction, height, speed, and safety, all while minimizing human intervention. The most striking feature is its climbing mechanism, which allows the Bonot to ascend as it builds each new floor. This means it doesn't need cranes or external support, giving it the freedom to work on taller buildings without the typical hassle. The Bonot's sheer weight, clocking in at 2,000 tons, plays a key role in keeping it stable. Whether it's working at 50 meters or 500 meters above the ground, this machine stays rock steady. And no, that's not just a figure of speech. The engineers also made sure that the Bonot could handle extreme weather conditions, including hurricane force winds. So, even when the weather doesn't cooperate, the Bonot keeps chugging along, which is a relief considering how unpredictable things can get at such heights. The machine's automation systems are another big win, thanks to highly advanced sensors and control mechanisms. The Bonot can perform its tasks with precision, which would be tough for humans to achieve consistently. It measures, adjusts, and aligns every part of the structure as it goes, making sure everything is exactly where it needs to be. This level of precision not only saves time, 
but also reduces the risk of errors that could lead to delays or worse. In short, the Bownot is a perfect blend of engineering genius and practicality. It handles the tough parts of skyscraper construction while allowing workers to focus on the smaller details, making it a valuable tool in the rapid urbanization happening in China. Cease speed and efficiency enhancements. The Bownot machine doesn't just build skyscrapers, it practically races against time while doing it. One of the main reasons it's such a big deal is how quickly it can put up a new floor. We're talking about finishing one entire floor in just four days, which would usually take weeks with traditional methods. This speed is due to a mix of advanced automation and precise controls. The machine has a system that reduces the need for human involvement at every step, which not only speeds things up, but also cuts down on mistakes. Now, you might think speeding up construction means sacrificing quality, but that's not the case here. The precision controls allow the machine to work at a fast pace while still keeping everything aligned and accurate. It's like having an efficient worker who never gets tired, never takes breaks, and never makes mistakes. This keeps the building process smooth and steady, making sure that each floor is built exactly as planned. Another key feature is how this machine minimizes labor costs. Traditional construction methods rely on a large team to handle various tasks, but the Bonot does most of that heavy lifting itself. It allows for fewer workers on site, and the workers who are there can focus on more specialized tasks. This combination of speed, precision, and reduced labor makes the Bonot a construction tool that's both fast and cost-effective. The way it ties everything together is impressive. Safety mechanisms. When you're building something as tall as a skyscraper, Safety is always a big concern, and when you're doing it at the speed the Bonot does, safety becomes even more crucial. Fortunately, this machine has been designed with plenty of features to keep things secure, no matter how tall the building gets. One of the most impressive things about the Bonot is its ability to handle hurricane force winds. Imagine trying to work at hundreds of meters high with strong gusts shaking things up. The Bonot stays steady, thanks to its weight and advanced stabilization systems. But it's not just about handling bad weather. The Bonot is built to ensure stability even during typical construction challenges. It's packed with sensors that constantly monitor its position and weight distribution. This means the machine knows exactly when something is off and can adjust itself automatically. In a way, it's like having a guard that's always awake, keeping an eye on every little detail. Another important safety feature is how the machine reduces the risks for workers. Since the Bonot takes care of the most dangerous tasks, like lifting heavy materials, and operating at great heights, the need for humans to be in risky spots is much lower. Workers can stay closer to the ground, safe from the usual hazards that come with tall construction projects. The machine's design isn't just about getting the job done fast, it's about getting it done safely. So while it's busy building one floor after another, it's also making sure that everyone around stays out of harm's way. Rapid Urban Development The Bownot machine has truly made its mark on China's construction scene making it possible to build skyscrapers faster than ever before. Cities like Shenzhen and Guangzhou, which were already growing rapidly, are seeing new buildings rise in what feels like record time. The need for office spaces, residential buildings, and mixed-use towers has been met with incredible speed, thanks to this giant machine. With the Bonot at work, construction sites that would typically take years are now wrapping up in a fraction of the time. For example, in Shenzhen's bustling financial district, where new buildings seem to pop up overnight, the Bownot has been deployed on several key projects. This has allowed the city to meet the demand for more commercial space as its population and economy continue to grow. It's not just about speed, though. The Bownot has also helped lower the cost of construction. Automation reduces the need for a massive workforce and minimizes human error, which can often lead to costly delays. By using the Bownot, developers can stick to tighter schedules and budgets for large-scale projects. As the machine continues to be used in different cities, it's safe to say the Bownot is reshaping China's urban landscape one floor at a time. Notable Skyscrapers Some of China's most impressive skyscrapers have been built with the help of the Bownot. Take the Ping for Finance Center in Shenzhen, for example, which stands as one of the tallest buildings in the world. This architectural wonder was built with the kind of speed and precision that only the Bownot could offer. The project, which could have taken years using traditional methods, was completed much faster, keeping up with the city's rapid expansion. Another standout is the Guangzhou Finance Center, a towering skyscraper that also benefited from the Bownot's capabilities. With each floor being built in just a matter of days, 
This project demonstrated how the bow knot can speed up construction without cutting corners on quality. What's fascinating is how these buildings go from the drawing board to reality so quickly, leaving many in awe of how fast things happen when the bow knot is involved. The timeline comparisons with traditional construction methods are quite striking. Buildings like these could take up to 50% longer using cranes and scaffolding alone. Not only does the bow knot reduce time, but it also brings down labor costs and decreases the chances of delays caused by human error. Comparison with traditional methods. When you look at how skyscrapers have traditionally been built, it's hard to ignore how time-consuming and labor-intensive the old methods were. Standard construction usually involves a lot of scaffolding, cranes, and teams of workers laying each brick and beam piece by piece. It's a slow process, with crews often having to wait for materials to be delivered, assembled, or set in place. Not to mention, traditional construction requires a lot of manual work, which increases the chances of mistakes or delays. This is where the bow knot machine comes in and shows how things can be done much faster. The bow knot, unlike the traditional approach, doesn't rely on scaffolding and can handle massive construction tasks with fewer workers. This alone speeds up the entire process significantly. On top of that, the machine's automated systems mean it can do in days what would normally take weeks or even months. For example, while traditional skyscraper construction may take years to complete, the bow knot can finish one floor in just four days, and it keeps climbing along with the building as it grows taller. This precision not only saves time, but also cuts down on labor costs and reduces errors that would need fixing later. Another difference is the machine's ability to work around the clock. In traditional methods, crews often have to stop for weather conditions or daylight limitations, but the bow knot can keep going. Its built-in safety features allow it to function in strong winds or other harsh conditions, unlike cranes that might have to shut down when the weather turns bad. All of this makes the bow knot a far more efficient and reliable option, especially when time is of the essence. And with fewer delays, China can keep up its fast pace of urban expansion. Other Key Technologies While the bow knot is impressive on its own, it's not the only innovation that's driving China's rapid construction boom. Other technologies like prefabrication and 3D printing have also played a huge role. Prefabricated building modules, for instance, are assembled off-site in factories and then shipped to construction sites where they're stacked and connected like giant building blocks. This means that a lot of the work that used to be done on-site, such as framing or installing walls, can now be completed much more efficiently in a controlled environment. This reduces the chance of delays due to weather or other unpredictable factors. 3D printing is another breakthrough technology that has been quietly revolutionizing construction in China. With the ability to print building components layer by layer, 3D printers can create complex structures that would have been difficult or impossible with traditional methods. And because the process is automated, it cuts down on the need for manual labor and can reduce material waste by using only what's necessary for the project. One remarkable example of China's technological edge in construction was seen during the COVID-19 pandemic. The country managed to build a fully operational hospital in just six days in Wuhan, using a combination of prefabrication, bow-knot technology, and efficient on-site assembly. This feat caught the attention of the world and showed just how advanced China's construction techniques have become. All of these innovations work together to help China build faster, smarter, and with fewer resources. So it's no surprise that they've been able to outpace other nations in terms of urban development. By using a combination of cutting-edge tools and forward-thinking approaches, China is shaping the future of the city, building one skyscraper at a time. Case study. Wuhan's COVID hospital. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, China faced the challenge of building hospitals quickly to manage the surge in patients. Enter the bow knot machine and other advanced construction technologies. In Wuhan, the city at the center of the outbreak, a fully operational hospital was built in just six days. You might be wondering how such a complex structure was completed so quickly. Well, a big part of the answer lies in prefabricated building modules. These sections were constructed off-site and then assembled at breakneck speed. The Boknot machine played a key role in speeding up the process by enabling the construction of critical infrastructure faster than traditional methods. The hospital wasn't just a temporary fix. It had all the necessary equipment and facilities, demonstrating how advanced construction methods can respond to emergencies. This wasn't just an isolated event either. China showcased to the world how technology, when combined with careful planning, could solve massive challenges under pressure. 
The same tech that built this hospital is now being used in more conventional projects, showing how these tools can reshape how we think about construction timelines in the future. Future Prospects Looking ahead, the Bonot machine isn't stopping at hospitals or regular skyscrapers. It's likely to be part of even more ambitious projects, such as the rise of super-tall skyscrapers that could redefine city skylines worldwide. As cities grow vertically, the Bonot will be key to making sure construction keeps up with demand. We could also see this tech being used in mega-projects like the expansion of the Chengdu Tianfu International Airport, where rapid, precise construction is crucial. The beauty of the Bonot lies in its adaptability. Whether it's an office building or a massive transportation hub, this machine is designed to handle diverse environments. And while it's primarily been used in urban China, it has the potential to expand to other countries, revolutionizing how we approach large-scale construction globally. Environmental concerns and sustainability and safety considerations. Despite the impressive capabilities of the Baonat machine, several challenges and criticisms can't be overlooked. One of the major concerns is its environmental impact. Building skyscrapers at such a fast pace requires large amounts of resources, which can lead to significant waste and increased energy consumption. These rapid construction projects may contribute to air pollution and high carbon emissions, issues that are already quite serious in many of China's urban centers. There's also the issue of sustainability. While the Baoknot is great for densely populated urban areas, its use in rural or less developed regions could pose problems. Not all landscapes can handle such massive construction, and adapting the machine to different environments might prove tricky. Furthermore, critics worry about long-term safety when pushing machines like the Baonot to their limits, especially when faced with unpredictable weather conditions or natural disasters. Is the machine built to handle all that pressure, or are we just asking for trouble? And of course, there are always financial risks. The Baonot is an expensive piece of machinery, and not every project may see a return on investment. It's amazing when it works, but any technical failure or delay could lead to huge financial losses. So while the Baonot is transforming China's construction landscape, it's clear that it comes with its fair share of questions and challenges. Economic and Social Implications now, let's talk about the broader economic and social effects of using machines like the Bonot. On one hand, it's a money saver. By speeding up construction and reducing labor needs, developers can cut costs and complete projects ahead of schedule. But this raises a big concern. What happens to all the workers who are replaced by the machine? Automation in the construction industry might reduce the need for human labor, but it also displaces jobs, leaving many without work. And let's face it. A machine isn't going to head to the local market or grab lunch from a street vendor, so the surrounding economy could take a hit. There's also the matter of urbanization. As cities expand rapidly, housing prices skyrocket, often making it harder for the average person to afford a home. This rapid development, while beneficial in some ways, can lead to the displacement of entire communities. People are sometimes forced out of their homes as land is cleared for new projects, creating social tension and a feeling of instability among residents. Moreover, with the demand for space at an all-time high, developers are more focused on building quickly than on creating sustainable, livable environments. This rush for rapid growth can lead to poorly planned infrastructure, leaving behind neighborhoods that lack the basic facilities needed for a good quality of life. So while machines like the Bonot are impressive, they also bring some significant economic and social challenges along for the ride. Conclusion The Bonot machine has undeniably changed the way skyscrapers are built allowing China to rapidly expand its urban landscapes and meet the growing demand for office and residential spaces. Its speed and efficiency are impressive, but it also brings with it environmental concerns, economic challenges, and social implications that can't be ignored. While the machine reduces construction time and costs, it risks displacing jobs and communities in the process. As China continues to embrace advanced technologies like the Baoknot, the focus should shift towards balancing innovation with sustainability and social responsibility. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.